Okay, so now let's say that you have created a list. Of course, the next question is how to use it, how to read information from it, and how to access specific value in my list. So now we're going to talk about a very important two concepts, the indexing and the slicing. So let's go. Okay, so let's start step by step. I'm going to go and create again a list. And this time I'm going to go and include four letters, A, B, C and D. So now we start with the first step where I say, you know what, I would like to access and read the whole thing, the whole list. So I need all the items. We have done this already. So all you have to do is to use the print function and just specify the variable name without anything. So if you do that and execute, actually you are reading and accessing all the items inside the list. But of course, this is boring. What is more interesting is that to go and access only one item, something very specific. So we are saying, I don't need the whole thing. I just need one item. And for that, we use something called indexing. What is indexing and why we need it? Now look at our list. So now if you say I want to access something specific, like for example, the first letter or the last letter, or maybe to say the third letter. So that means I'm interested with the position number of each item. So it's gonna start from the left to the right. The first one has the slot zero. And he be careful, we are not starting from one. So A has the position number zero, index zero. B has one, C two, and D. Three. Now, if you say, I would like to get the first item, all what you have to tell Python is the index number. And for that, we use as well, again, the brackets together with the variable name. So now if you specify a zero between the square brackets, Python understands, aha, uh -huh, we need the item inside the slot zero. So with that, you are accessing exactly one single value and the one that you need. And if you say, you know what, I would like to get the last item, then you specify the index three and you will get D. And if you say, I need the second item, here be careful if you are saying second, that doesn't mean the index two. The second item here has the index number one since we are starting from zero. And for that, you will get a B. Now what is cool in Python, we can go backwards if you use the negative numbers. So now if you are counting from the right side going to the left side, the first item can has the position number minus one. So it doesn't start from zero, then minus two, minus three and four. This is really nice if you have a long list and you are interested only on the last items. So here you can say quickly, give me the last item by specifying the index minus one. And with that, you will get the D. So that means if you are using in the index, the position number three or the minus one, at the end, you will get the same results. So this is really nice. You get exactly what you need, but again, only one single item. Okay, so let's practice. Again, I don't want the whole thing. I just want one item. And uh, let's say that I would like to get the first item. All what you have to do is to say, for example, Example print, then the variable name, and now side by side you add the square brackets, and now you have to define the index. So again, we need the first item. The first item on the left side is going to be zero. So something like that. Let's go and execute. Now, as you can see in the output, I'm getting the item A. Uh, let's say that I would like to get the last item. So we can go and say print again, the variable and the brackets. Now, of course, you can start counting zero, one, two, three, but this is annoying. Since we are saying I would like the last item, then it's way better to use the negative numbers and it's going to be really easy. The last item is going to be always minus one. So let's execute you can see I'm getting D. Now let's say I would like to go and get the C. So print again our variable name. Now here again you could go and say 0, 1, 2 but I would like to get it with the negative number since it's closer to the end. Then I'm gonna say minus 1, minus 2 and I will get my C. Let's try this out and with that I'm getting C. So this is exactly how you can get and access exactly one single value using the index. Okay, so now let's take things to the next level where we talk about how to access and read a matrix. So let's say that we have three lists inside one big list. And of course here things are a little bit more complicated, but I always think about it like going to the cinema and finding your seats. So as you know, in your card, you're gonna have like two very important numbers, the row number and the seat number. So how you find your seat? First, you have to find your row number. And once you find your row, then you check the second number, your seat. And this is exactly how you navigate a matrix in Python. So for the first row, we have the row number zero, then the second one gonna be one 
and the third gonna be two. So this is your first number. The second number in order to find the seat, you need the numbers for the columns. And as we'll hear, it's like the simple list. For each item, we have a number. So zero, one, two. So now once we have the numbers, we can access anything that we want in the matrix. And here you have to be careful what you are specifying. So if you don't specify anything for Python and you say matrix, so you are just giving the variable name, so that you are targeting the whole list with all rows and all items. But now if you want to target, for example, a complete row. So I don't want the whole thing. I just want one row, but I want all the values of this row. In order to do that, we have to specify for Python the row number. And we use the variable name together with the square brackets. And you give the row number, for example, here one. So you are now at the second level of your matrix. And now we go to the last level where you say, you know what, I need specific values value or values from one row. So for example, you say, I just want the E from the second row. Again, it is exactly like you are finding the seat in the cinema. You have to specify the second value for Python. So not only the row number, but as well, the index number of the value. So in this example, we are targeting the index one in the second row. And now you are at the lowest level in our matrix. So again, if you just give the variable name, you are accessing the whole list. If you give only one number, then you are accessing accessing one row, a whole row, but if you give a second number, then you are accessing a specific value in a specific row. This is very important to understand in order to target exactly which information you want to work with. And by the way, my friends, if you like this type of contents where I go and start sketching the different concept of Python and show you how things works behind the scenes, you will not find this type of content in any other course because it takes a lot of time sketching, editing and working on it. That's why if you like this type of content then support the channel by subscribing liking commenting this can really help to reach other people like you and by the way don't forget to check out my blog i write weekly topics about data all right so now let's go back okay so let's try this out with the matrix again we have our nice matrix with three rows and each row has three items. So we have three lists inside one big list. Now let's go and practice by reading and selecting. The first thing I would like to go and select everything. So the whole matrix, it's gonna be very simple. You're gonna say print and you just need the variable name. So if you do that, look at the output, you are retrieving everything from our matrix. So all rows, all items. Now let's say that I don't need the whole thing. I just need the last row. So the last list that we have inside the matrix, all what you have to do is to say, okay, we're going to have the matrix, but this time we're going to be selecting specific row. So the last row is going to be the row number two. So zero, one, two. And in order to select it, we have to use the square brackets and then say two. I just want to comment this out and then let's go and execute now look at this we have the last row in the output and as you can see i'm not specifying which item in the list i'm just saying give me all the items of the last row and now since we are seeing the last row actually you don't have to go and count stuff just go and use the minus one with that you will get always the last row of any matrix so look at this we are getting the same results so it doesn't matter whether we have hundreds of rows if you say minus one, you will get the last one. Now, let's say that I don't need the whole row. I just need one thing. Like, for example, I would like to get the I. So the last item from the last row. So we are going deeper. Now we're going to say, OK, print matrix. So now the first thing is that we have to specify which row we are talking about. Well, we said the last item in the last row. So that means it's going to be the minus one for the last row. Now Python is actually focusing on this one here. So now forget about the other rows, just focus on one simple array. We need to tell Python where you can find the item. So zero, one, two. So this is the index number. And we're going to go and use another square brackets in order to select the item. So it's going to be two. Now now, if you go and execute it, look at the output, we are getting the I. And again, the same thing, since it is the last item, actually, all that you have to do is to go and say minus one. And if I run this again, I will get the same results. And again here, if you want the last item from the last row, just go and use minus one, minus one, and you will get that item, whatever your matrix looks like. And now I'm going to ask you how to get the first item of the first row without counting. Just think about it. Well. We're going to say matrix 
and just blindly i'm gonna go with zero and zero i will not count anything if you go and execute it you will get the a this is gonna be the first item of the first row and you can use this as well in any matrix so with that we have the first item the last item now let's go and try to get the one in the middle so the e we're gonna say again matrix now in which row we can find the e well zero one that means in the row number one and now inside the row number one where we find the e so zero one as well the same thing so it's going to be one as well so let's go and execute it so as you can see we are getting now the e this is not a rule you cannot say okay each time i'm going to use the one one i will get the item in the middle of the matrix because this really depends on the size of the matrix okay so this is how the indexing works with the matrix it is not that hard right So, so far we have learned how to retrieve everything or retrieve one single item. But how about to retrieve multiple items? For example, in my list, I would like to get access to only two characters, the B and C. So for this, we cannot use the index. Instead, we're going to use something called slicing. So now let's look at this and see how this works. We don't need the whole list. We would like to slice it, to cut it. And for that, you have to like two boundaries, the start and the end. So you have to tell Python actually two things. And for the syntax, we're going to still using the square brackets. Now, the first thing that we have to specify is the starting index in this example it's going to be one and the second thing you need the stop index so for that first you have to use double points and then you specify the index here in python the stop index is not inclusive so that means you don't specify here two you have to specify three so we stop at three and three is not included if you do that you will retrieve now two items the b and c now another example let's say that i would like to get the first three characters so again what is the stop starting index it is zero and the end index is gonna stay as three if you do that you will get a b c now there is something really cool in python the starting index the zero it is actually a default so this means if you are start slicing from the first item in the list you don't actually have to specify it in the syntax so you can skip it and you start immediately with the double points and you will get, of course, the same results. By the way, this is the same thing for the last item. So let's say I would like to extract C and D. So the start position gonna be two, but the stop position gonna be four. You cannot have three because the stop is exclusive. And of course you will get the result, but this is not really nice. Instead, you're gonna say, two double points and then empty nothing so you say i want to start slicing from the index two and then i want to get everything after it and now think about it if i just specify the double points without starting position and end position what's gonna happen well it's gonna work you will not get an error if you do that you will get the whole list so you say i want everything from the start until the end and if you want that actually don't use any brackets or double points just use the variable name okay so let's try this out i would like to get the first two characters so we're gonna print our variable name and then our square brackets now since i want the first two characters that means i don't have to go and specify the first character and since the first two characters 0 1 2 i stop at 2 so now let's try this out as you can see i'm getting now a and b now let's go and get the last two characters so print lst now i have to specify the starting position it's going to be 0 1 2 so we start from two double points so now since i want everything after this position i'm going to leave it empty and if you go and execute it you will get cd and now let's try this fun one and i say we are slicing but actually without defining anything and execute it you will get the whole list exactly like the first print so slicing is simple right and of course my friends we can slice our matrix so let's say that i would like to get only the first two list the first two rows so we can do it like this we say print and then matrix so now it's time to slice we start with the first row that means with the zero and then double points and we stop at the row number two again the stop is exclusive so we're gonna say two but since we are starting from the beginning we don't have to mention the zero so if you go and execute it you will get in the output the first two lists as you can see it is very simple now let's say that i would like to get the opposite the last two lists so we're gonna say print 
matrix and then specify the start so the start gonna be the row number one and then double points and now since everything else in the list we don't have to specify any ends because i want the rest let me just remove this one over here and then re-execute look at this we are getting the last two lists from my matrix now you might say okay nice we are slicing the rows but how about to slice actually inside one specific row for example i would like to get the g and h from the row number two so how we can do that now we are moving to another level right so we're gonna say matrix so now we don't want to target the whole matrix we want to target one specific list so we are focusing actually on the row number two so we have to tell python about it now focus and target the row number two and after that you forget everything else so forget the first two lists now we are at the normal list how to get the first two items from a list we do it like this we start another bracket and since we start from the beginning we don't have to specify the zero we start immediately with the double points and now i need the g and h that means i stop at two so let's try this out and see what can happen exactly we are getting now the g and h so all we think about this cinema example first we have to specify which row we want to slice from and then after that we tell python what to do inside this row once you understand it you can do anything with the 2d lists okay friends so with that we have learned everything on how to read and access anything in a list so if you want to go and access only one single item we use the indexing but if you want to go and slice multiple items from your list we can go and use the slicing and of course if you want to get items from the start of the list then go and use the positive numbers but if you want to get data and items at the end of the list you can go and use the negative numbers and if you are working with matrix always you have to think about first we have to specify the row and then go and get the exact value that i'm searching for so with that we have learned how to create a list how to read and access a list and to be honest this is basically 80 percent of the things that we do with the data structure in real projects